Okay, number four says the table shows the top view of a solid figure made of stacked cubes. The numbers and the squares identify the number of cubes in each stack. So here's what I did. I have this, I know it's kind of hard to see. Um, let me see if I can turn down the brightness a little bit. There we go. All right, so I have this and I've put it beside my stack of cubes. Down here, back here, back left is a stack of three cubes, three cubes high. The middle back is four cubes high and the back on the right hand side is two cubes high, okay? Then we go to the next row and that's two cubes high, two cubes high, and one cube high. And then we go to the front row, which is one cube high, one cube high, one cube high. Okay? And then it says which drawing shows the three-dimensional view of this solid figure. Okay? And I tried to put it at an angle where you could see what it should look like. In the back you have a stack of three, and then in the middle back you have a stack of four. Okay? So it goes three, four, two. So let's look at our back rows. Okay? This one, that's a stack of three. This is a stack of four. How do I know? Because it's two taller than this stack, which is a stack of two. Okay? This back row is three, two, two. This back row is three, two, one. How do I know that that's the back, by the way? Because see up here it says front. So I know these ones are in the back. Okay, on this one the back row is four, three, two. Okay, so I actually don't even have to go any further if I pay attention because up here it told you that in the back you should have three, then four, then two. And the only one that fits is this one. But let's just make sure that we're doing it right. The middle row should be two, two, and then one. And then is that right? Yes, that's two high, two high, one high. And the front row should be one, one, and one, 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 and one, 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 and one. So our answer choice is F. Okay. All right, just for a little extra practice, what would H have looked like three-dimensionally? Okay, if this is the front, then we would have had something that looked like this if it was going to look like H. We would have this oops okay <laughs> this is what j would look like okay and let's see g would have looked like that okay so it's just recognizing three dimensions. Just make sure that you see that the front is marked. Okay, so this is the back, three, four, two high, three, four, two high. Okay.